We uh, reversed the 6275 video uh, cut out and restarted. We're also having trouble loading videos on YouTube for some reason. So we're out of this short at 6150, uh, from 6150. We're long at 6275. God help me here. From what I can see, we're just you know, not not building any uh, any downward momentum. We couldn't get beneath the uh, lower limit by more than just a point. And the NYSC tick chart is building positive. Uh, we're building higher lows, even though the mini S&P made lower lows. The XLF is no longer uh, leading the way. So we should have an upward rotation, um, maybe to the 66 area. That'll be our uh, first target. Stop on this trade at 60. Well, I don't like this trade today. This trade looks like long liquidation. It's just hanging around. We're going to take the 63, 64s. We're out 63.75. Maybe the afternoon will offer more opportunity. Well, we're tempted to take a long, but we're not quite down to 57. We got as long as 58.75. Long, 60 and a quarter. Our stop is 58. Well, I just don't know about this market here. You know, 57 is below us. Uh, looks like the 58s are going. Damn. Man, oh man, there's the stop. Jesus Christ. Oh man, I hate this kind of day. Good initial short at 69. Anything other than take a break here? There's a big break comes in the E period. Goes down through 47, 57. Barely freaking pauses after wearing me out in the morning session. I missed the fucking trade. God damn it. Pisses me off. So I probably shouldn't trade. Looks like an exhaustion. Buying belt is huge. God. I mean, I talked about this all morning, too. Damn it. This is wrong. All this crazy, heavy, erratic volume. You know, ah, I could just... Uh, exasperated. During the initial decline this morning, the New York stock tick made positive uh, values for most of the part. And now we're making negative volumes on a big break to 57. Exactly what I talked about this morning. And what did we end up with? Absolutely nothing. A whole bunch of trades, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven trades, and no profit, no loss, except for commissions. That kills, that kills me. I mean, there's a lot of commissions. Eleven trades times four contracts, 40, 40, 40 round turns. Man, oh man. Well, one thing for sure, we broke below the 6150 uh, lower end of the distribution. Freaking amazing. Now the question is, do we have any retracements to even, uh, you know, get aboard? This looks like an exhaustion type of break, so we'll we'll try to wait for a retracement. Look at this. It's going down to 55 and shit. <laughs> I'm waiting for a retracement up to 60. Yeah, I get a retracement to 50 fucking 7 from 56. Excuse my language. Golly, now I know I shouldn't trade. Uh, I'm definitely taking a break. If we get back up to 60, I'm, I'll get short. I don't see much much support coming in here in the 57 range. I'm selling a 56 and a quarter. Short 56 and a quarter. Where's the target? I really don't know. 47 possibly. I can't believe I'm selling a 656 and a quarters. This is sickening. It's fucking Christ. Disgusting. Selling a 56 and a frickin' quarters.
And we're putting our stop 10 points away at 66. We get stopped out at 66, we're taking a big loss, and then we're uh, done for the day. Otherwise, our target's the close. And I'm not trading anymore after that. Buy at the close. There we have it. Well, now that we have this uh, short from the 50s, 56s, we're going to just uh, pause it and uh, go ahead and do some stuff. We have our stop above us. We have our target below us uh, at the close. So I'm going to take the afternoon off. Too much micromanaging this morning. The uh, tight range got me bound into close stops and terrible uh, exits. So we'll just let this uh, market run. It looks like the day formation is an open drive. Well, not really an open drive day, but it looks like a trending day. So we'll just let the market move. Well, it's been a gruesome session. Uh, we had the right position in the morning, 69 short, but um, we traded way too much and uh, we got nickel to dime. And we waited all day and we got as low as 51. And, uh, you know, the signs were there to get out of the trade, but we were uh, doing some things and just didn't, uh, didn't want to do it because we said we we're going to stick into the close, which is what we're going to do. We're going to wait till the Imperial closes at 415 and um, see if we can take a price. Um, today looked like it was long liquidation. I didn't see any uh, one time frame selling that elongated the profile, but it looks like um, sort of a B kind of formation, which um, puts us in a position of um, consolidation, just this lethargic back and forth trade. So. We had a little higher selling volume today than uh, the previous selling day up at the high. So we could uh, see a little carry through if any of the shorts come in at Globex or tomorrow and test the uh, opening uh, range of April 1st down in the uh, 40, low 40, mid 40s cluster. There's a cluster of volume there. Also at 47 there's a cluster of volume. And of course the gap closes all the way down at the uh, 1321. So, I might even consider carrying this trade through Globex uh, with, with the stop that we have, which is uh, 66. That's about 10 points uh, over where we are right now. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to make a decision. The, carrying the trade through Globex with long liquidation um, is probably relatively safe only because the profile, the uh, close, is, is below yesterday's close. So, from a price standpoint, to the majority, it feels like the market really sold off, but in reality, there's no um, intermediate time frame seller driving the market for any protract on any protracted basis. So you might get a push in Globex, just people thinking that the market's going down, and then you know all of a sudden we stall and consolidate tomorrow potentially. So um, you know, it's 50/50 there. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll have to think about that. It's not too dangerous to carry it in the Globex, uh, you know, if you're willing to put a stop in and uh, live by your stop. You know, that's uh, never typically uh, catastrophic. It might not feel good if you get stopped down, but it's typically not catastrophic. So we'll have to make that uh, a decision. The previous YouTube video uh, is too long. It was stopped at 11 minutes. They typically only allow 10 minutes, although most of our videos run 10 and a half minutes, 10.40, 10.50. I think 11 is just, you might be able to get a 10.59 video in. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because we post under education or if it's because there's a lot of videos posted. I'm not sure. They wouldn't allow that one. Well, this trade is in, uh, going so well, it closed way higher than uh, we had hoped, 60 and a quarter. Our stop's at 66. If the Globex takes us to 56, depending on uh, what the volume looks like in the structure, we may very well uh, get out of that trade at a break even. Um, and, um, oh man, I tell you, we had the uh, 69 short, but we didn't act on the fact that we knew it was a B period, B, uh, long liquidation. and. They caught us uh, at the close. We had the opportunity to get out between the 52s and the 54s. Oh man, oh man. Then we had the opportunity to you know, do a reverse at the end of the day there.